What's up dudes? Chooch. Back with another one. And I had to post this video guys. Look at this guy I passed on the one wheel. He's on a one wheel XR. He's going full tilt dude. He was he was in, in it. And this is the EXN. And I was just cruising having a good time on it. Dude I wasn't even trying to like go by him just being like hey you look at you know how fast. I was literally just how fast I was going. And it looked like I passed him like he was tied to a concrete wall. And guess what? That thing literally costs seventeen hundred and ninety nine dollars. Still, that one wheel XR that I just passed back there that literally looked like I glitched past it, like it was stuck in time. That thing cost almost as much as one of these does, guys. And then you still have people out there. Nothing's changed on it. They literally will go twelve to eighteen miles in range, and these will go eighty miles in range. So that one back there that I just passed is almost the same price, but will go one eighth of the distance as one of these unicycles. And probably goes, this, this EXN that I'm on right here will go about 48, 49 miles an hour. And I think one of these, one of those one wheel XRs tops out at 19 miles an hour. And so, I mean, just the fun factor, dude, of this i mean yeah i'll admit when you're riding past you know a group of college girls or riding past a few hot chicks at the bar or whatnot at a slow speed you do look a little bit cooler on the one wheel i'll admit that a hundred percent if you're out playing around on the beach you know you got some chicks around and you're trying to go slow you know you're trying to like use the one wheel as like a um let's see like a, a social thing like you're trying to like you know use it like to talk to other people and you basically want to let other people try it the one wheel is definitely way better than the unicycle guys you look way cooler on it you can let people try it it's not going to get torn up and stuff like that but at the end of the day guys you got to realize it's not all about looking cool all the time i would much rather be able to fly on this thing have insane amounts of fun, get the adrenaline flowing, and literally know that I can blast, I can literally lean as far as I want to on this thing. I'm never going to know to dive. I can lean as hard as I want to and break as hard as I possibly want to. It is much safer than the one wheel. I've ridden the one wheels before, guys. I've, I've rode a one wheel for an entire day. I rode it off-road, on-road, everything in between, and I got to the point where I actually got used to the one wheel. And the one wheel still feels awkward, dude. Once you get used to it, after you ride one of these unicycles, the one wheel, it seriously is not right, dude. Like, it, it is not the right stance. Like, I know they're fun. I know they have their place. I know there's a lot of unique tricks. But I'm just telling you, man, if you, if you want one of these that makes sense, that rides like it should in a one wheel platform, the EUC is a no-brainer. And guys, I'm a snowboarder. I all, I absolutely despise. I, I know I'm doing this whole ski thing right here, and I'm doing it just because I'm in Ski County. I'm in Summit County, Colorado, up here, and I'm doing the whole like ski dance right here on this wheel. And it is a lot more like skiing than snowboarding. I would say that 110 percent, man. This thing is a lot more like skiing than snowboarding. And you just see that. Look at that. Look at that. Like, I'm just cruising, and he, he was literally cruising full tilt. He's commuting on that. He's probably going from uh, Frisco, Colorado to Breckenridge. This is the bike path going up, and that's probably exactly what he's doing because with, you know, the 12 to 18 mile range, he's probably right there, dude, and he's probably going to get to his destination and be completely out of battery, like for sure. I'm going all the way. I'm riding from Frisco full speed, 40 miles an hour plus, all the way to Breckenridge and then I'm gonna ride all the way back to Frisco and then I'm still gonna have like at least 80 plus percent battery in this thing and then I, I, I went and rode this thing for four more hours after doing this entire commute here and then back so I don't know man I there's no there's no way to justify it anymore there's literally no way to justify a one wheel XR anymore I don't know Unless you've been into it like a long time and like you just have like something for it, like something like hard on for a one wheel. Uh, dude, the InMotion V12, that wheel that just came out, that is the perfect thing 
If you're a one wheel rider and you want to get into the hobby of electric unicycles, the InMotion V12 that just came out, that is a smaller form factor wheel with an extremely good build quality with a touch screen on it that freaking accelerates. Dude, it accelerates 10 times faster than your one wheel. It has a 2,500 watt motor in it and it's only 400 more bucks than the one wheel XR is. And you are getting, so for 400 more dollars, guys, you are getting a wheel that can go 70 to 80 miles on the charge as opposed to 12 to 18. And as opposed to 19 miles an hour with the one wheel XR, you're getting a wheel, if you're getting the InMotion V12, that thing will go 43 miles an hour. That's more than double the speed, and it's only 400 more dollars. It makes no sense at all in 2021, late 2021, to buy a one wheel when these are out. You are better, if you, you are, seriously guys, if you, if you want to a one wheel, I would get an electric unicycle and I would mount a snowboard on it sideways. I would cut a snowboard in half and I would drill it with bolts through the pedals of a unicycle. I've thought about actually doing this, I really want to. I would drill, two bolts through both sides of the pedals, cut the snowboard in half, and then take the, um, th there would be a little slit in the snowboard. So the snowboard would be a little bit, you'd have to widen it up a little bit, you see what I'm saying? And so there'd be a gap in that snowboard. I already thought out, thought it out the way it would look and everything, like drawing it up. And there'd be a little gap in the snowboard. You'd have to literally get a, a saw that could cut it straight down the middle, and then you would mount half the snowboard on one side of the pedal and then half on the other side of the pedal. And then you would take a uh, just your, your snowboard bindings and then you would mount those now. But there would, be a, there would be a gap in between there, but I still think it would be sturdy enough. It would have some flex to it, but it would still be sturdy enough to where you could put some snowboard boots in there and you would have a sending, a sending one wheel, dude. Like, just mount, just get creative with it and mount the snowboard sideways on an electric unicycle, and you have a one wheel that can go 80 miles and go, you know, 45, 50 miles an hour, and then it's not gonna nosedive on you. So, I mean, and honestly, dude, you can just change the way you stand on the thing and ride it facing forward. It's honestly extremely natural, and it feels like the way you should commute on a one wheel device is standing on it like this with your feet over the axle perfectly so you have maximum control over it instead of straddling a go-kart tire i used to race go-karts man and that's like you're on a go-kart tire on that thing and it is the most awkward shit in the world riding a one wheel compared to one of these i mean it is to me it's a, it's a no-brainer man I, I hate to say it and i know i'm i'm one of those ones that's open to everything man like you know i understand like you got ice skating, and then you got downhill longboarding, and you, you would never compare the two because one person likes one and one person likes the other. But with this, they're so close. The devices are essentially the same technology, but one of them is slow as shit, and the other one is just awesome. That's the way I feel about it.